Food chains. Living things need energy to grow. They need energy to move and to reproduce. Living things need energy to survive. Where do plants and animals get their energy from? To answer this question, let's look at a food chain. A food chain shows how energy is passed between living things. Arrows show the direction the energy moves. Here's one food chain. The energy is being transferred from the sun, to the grass, to a grasshopper, to a spider, and then a bird. The grass absorbs the energy from the sun, allowing it to grow. The grasshopper eats the grass, taking its energy. The energy of the grasshopper is then passed on when it's eaten by the spider. The energy is passed on once again when the spider is eaten by a bird. This food chain shows one example of how energy moves between living things. Let's look a little more closely at each step in a food chain. All food chains begin with the sun. Energy is passed on from the sun to plants. Plants are called producers. This is because they absorb sunlight and use it to produce their own energy. This process is called photosynthesis. At the next step of the food chain, we come to animals. Animals don't produce their own energy. They eat or consume other living things, taking their energy. For this reason, they're referred to as consumers. In this step of the food chain are animals that eat plants, herbivores or omnivores. We call these animals first order consumers. Moving along to the next step of a food chain, we have animals that eat other animals, carnivores or omnivores. Because these animals eat first order consumers, we call these animals second order consumers. Next are third order consumers, animals that eat other carnivores. The category of third order consumers includes some animals at the top of the food chain, animals like lions, killer whales, bears and sharks. Producers are eaten by first order consumers, who are then eaten by second order consumers, and in turn are eaten by third order consumers. This isn't the end of the food chain. What happens when a living thing dies? Decomposers such as worms, bacteria and fungi get their energy from dead plants and animals. The nutrients trapped in the dead organisms are released back into the soil, allowing plants to grow. So, where do living things get their energy? The sun. EasyTeaching.net